uh, seeing the boy on his crutches and he has a fractured leg, which makes what he did even more heroic, a fractured leg, a fractured foot, but still jumped out and ran after his sister. Little Aaron Freeman told me today he really dreads when it gets dark out at night because you see it was nighttime when that horrible incident unfolded here at the Meriden Road Cumberland Farms in Wolken. Since Sunday night's terrifying carjacking, during which 11-year-old Aaron Freeman jumped out of his mother's car that had just been stolen, he says he's experienced terrible nightmares. It's like every place in my mind. What happened, like, I could see everything right over and over. And during his nightmares, his mom says he screams out for his five-year-old sister, Desiriah. I can't go to sleep if she's not next to me. The children's mother, Desiree, says she now regrets leaving the kids in the car unattended for the first time ever as she ran in to get her son some Tylenol and a gift card for a teacher. I just should have never left my kids by myself. It's the biggest mistake that I ever made in my life. Because 11-year-old Aaron had a fractured leg and his 5-year-old sister, Desiree, was asleep in the back seat, their mom left the kids in the car and told Aaron to lock it up. But I was like on TikTok, watching TikTok the whole time, so I, at the time I couldn't hear her. Just after Desiree got into the store, Aaron said he was startled when someone jumped into his mom's driver's seat. Kids just come in from the side and then open the door. All I scream is mom. And then I, when he drive, he looked back and then I just hopped out when he looked back. Aaron hopped out trying to avoid being hit and then realized his sister was still in the car. So he ran after it, even on a fractured leg. I didn't care about the pain, I just wanted to save her. I could tell you sorry a million times. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, but I could tell you this too, that you're a hero. There was a tense search for two hours until five-year-old Desiree was found unharmed and asleep in the back seat of her mother's abandoned, stolen car just about a mile and a half uh, from here on Knollwood Drive. As for the mom, Wolcott police tell me today they're still not certain whether they will press charges against her. The investigation and the search for those who are responsible for this crime continues. We're live here in Wolcott, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.